I'm a 56 year old rural gun owning white guy. And if Kamala Harris thinks I'll vote for her, she's right. Donald Trump could be standing in the dining room of the Waldorf and still find a cowpie to step in. It's been less than two weeks since his disgusting remarks about our Medal of Honor winners. He's been getting bad press and he thought maybe he'd clean it up by going to Arlington Cemetery and having a little photo op. Well, he stepped in it again. It's against federal law and a 34-time convicted felon, but maybe he should know that. When the Army staff tried to stop him, his staff got into an altercation with the Army staff. And when his campaign was asked about it by reporters, they said that the Army staff had mental health issues. He stepped in it again. Before any of you Squeal Team 6 members decide to jump in my comments about this and say derogatory stuff, there's something you might want to know. February 29th, 2020, Donald Trump signed a deal with the Taliban. You know, the terrorist organization. I grew up being told that America doesn't negotiate with terrorists, but there you go. Anyway, in that deal that Trump signed with the terrorists, we would slowly withdraw our troops to be complete by May of 21. And, this is a kicker, we would work for the release of 5,000 Taliban prisoners. Well, unfortunately, we lived up to our end of the bargain. The Taliban's uh, part of the bargain was they would stop attacking the Afghan government, U.S. troops, and our allies, and they would not allow any terrorists, in particular Al-Qaeda, into Afghanistan. They would not give them traveling papers or anything else. They didn't live up to their part. They kept attacking the Afghan government and they let Al-Qaeda in and worked with them to continue attacking us. So, deadline comes and goes. Election come and goes. Trump's out. Biden's in. Biden didn't meet the, the May deadline. He didn't think it would have been the right thing to do, but we were still down to just a few thousand troops left. And Trump on June 24th and July 26th, I think it is. Excuse me, June 26th and July 24th. He was at rallies bragging that Biden can't stop his withdrawal agreement. And we all know what happened next. Biden finally pulled the plug and said, we're, we're pulling out on this date. And he actually did it a couple of days early, if I remember correctly. And it went bad. Anybody who pays attention to this stuff knows their little bit of history. We knew it wasn't going to be easy. But America wanted out. 20 years was enough. And 13 soldiers died. And that really sucks bad. And Trump proceeded to start blaming Trump, uh, Biden. So that's what all these, what about the 13 comments were about. Funny thing is, the guy who ordered the attack that killed those 13 soldiers, and probably all the soldiers that were fighting us and killed our 13 soldiers, they were let out of prison by Trump's deal with the Taliban. Good day.